Many people, when they think of Ontario or waterfalls, think of the iconic Niagara Falls. And while I've been there, this is focusing on some of the places such as the waterfall capital of the world, Hamilton, and lakeside communities such as Burlington that should not be skipped on your way. And they also make for a perfect day trip if you are running short on time from Toronto to experience the beautiful falls. All right, guys, I'm here at the GO Transit station in Toronto. Basically, you can buy your ticket in advance on gotransit.com and then be able to book your ticket, have the QR code ready, and you just come here, look at the screens, and find out what zone you're in first, and then it'll tell you what door you're in. Definitely an easy way to get around, at least Ontario area seems like there's buses to Ottawa, Niagara Falls, Hamilton. So excited and ready to go and get to Hamilton. Okay, so we're on the bus now to Hamilton. It's about an hour and 15 minutes, but it looks like we have some traffic and some bad weather. But I'm really excited to get there and check into our hotel. This was super convenient and dropped us close to our hotel. Welcome to the Homewood Suites in Hamilton. We just arrived, checked in, and we were greeted with snow. But first, I wanna show you the room before we go out and explore Hamilton. Come inside. You can see it's called Home with Sweets for a reason. We have a big suite here. We have a area you can come hang out and watch TV, especially if it's a snowy day and you want to stay inside to stay warm. Also, there's a kitchen here. So if you're staying long term or you just want to cook and hang out here, you can do that as well. And then there is a nice separation between a living space and where you would stay and sleep with two beds we have here because my mom is joining me on this trip and a TV in here so you don't have to argue about what to watch. And of course we have a bathroom and I like this mirror. The lighting is pretty good especially when you put it on your makeup. And of course there's the shower and yeah it's just a nice place with a lot of space and now I'm going to go enjoy some of Hamilton because I need some coffee and some food. Decided to brave the weather to go get some food and I'm on King William Street which is known as Restaurant Row here in Hamilton so I wanted to see if I can get something I haven't tried in a while maybe some Indian food I don't know and I'll just go back inside to relax because as you can see it's snowing still dinner time and I decided to come to Sagamartha. It's an Indian Nepalese restaurant located here and I'm really excited to try some authentic food. It's also registered certified halal so if you need to eat halal that's a perfect choice for you. I'm really excited for what to get. I got this huge combo platter with buttered chicken and chicken tikka so I'm really excited. It's been a while since I've had Indian food and I'm glad I get to do it here in Hamilton. As always my eyes were bigger than my stomach and we ordered a lot of food and it was really good but we left early because I wanted to get to bed because we had an early morning the following day. Good morning. I'm heading to go meet with the Hamilton Tourism Board. We just had breakfast. There's like a full buffet at the Homewood Suites, which is nice. And we're going to do the waterfall hiking tour first. Really excited for that. And my mom's coming with me, which is also fun times always. But, oh, I think the tourism board people are here. Bev from the tourism board greeted us and brought me a goodie bag. So I put it back to the room before we headed out to the falls. Good morning. I just was picked up by Bev from the Hamilton Tourism Bureau and we're here at Sherman Falls soon to run into Jamie who's going to take us on one of his waterfall tours. But for now we're at Sherman Falls and while we're waiting I'm going to go check this out because I can already see it from the road. This is so beautiful. We're in the Dunbass Valley and there is so many waterfalls in the Hamilton area. And this is run by the Hamilton Conservation team. And I don't know, I'm just excited. I love waterfalls and these look like they are roaring. Oh my gosh. Here we are at Sherman Waterfalls. This is definitely pretty big and beautiful. I love it. I'm excited. Hamilton is known as being the capital of waterfalls. So I'm really happy it's living up to its name. And it's kind of cool that we're here surrounded by some snow. Check this out. I'm like 
first snow of the winter. Definitely excited to see more waterfalls. It's a little bit crisp out here, but it's definitely worth it. It's definitely cool to be surrounded by snow and hiking. I did not expect this in April. It's definitely nice. And I like that my mom can also see the waterfall from the trail. So it makes it easy to get around as well. But now on to meet Jamie and the waterfalls. All right guys, we're here at Tiffany Falls and I'm here with Jamie from Grand Experiences, an outdoor adventure company in Hamilton. And I'm just excited for you to take me today. Where are we going right now? So we're going to Tiffany Falls on the Niagara Escarpment. On the Niagara Escarpment. And you said it was a UNESCO World Biosphere? That's correct, yeah, it is. Yeah. How large is the biosphere? The here? biosphere is, um, well, the length of the trail that runs along the biosphere is about 800 kilometers. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty long one. Not all that wide, but very, very long. And it has a lot of different environments here. So um, some areas you're almost right in the city, but you still always got a forest setting in the city. Other areas you're in large forests. Some of them will be quite a few hundreds and hundreds of hectares or mm -hmm. thousands of acres. Oh wow. Yeah, the escarpment you get a lot of different views. You can hear here the, the birds here. Oh that's nice. And uh, in this particular area what's neat about it is there's so many little streams and creeks that go over the uh, escarpment. Each one makes its own waterfall. So there's 120 waterfalls in this area around uh -oh. Hamilton. So it's called the waterfall capital of the world because it's more waterfalls per kilometer than any place else. Okay, so we're here with a pro and a local, so I'm excited to see more of Hamilton with you. Okay. Is, what do they mean escarpment? Escarpment is basically when there's a really sheer drop off. Oh, okay. It's like a big cliff that goes on for miles and miles and oh, miles. All right. And then the Niagara Escarpment is one of the biggest ones, and it goes from, say, Niagara Falls. Yeah. And it goes all the way up to Tobermory, which is on Georgian Bay, Lake, Lake Huron. Oh, it's okay. about 800 kilometers. Oh, wow. Right. So it's a it's really long, long escarpment. Oh, and okay. It's a feature of actually from about 450 million years ago. There used to be an inland ocean or sea here. Yeah. And that was kind of left over from it. This is like a, like a drop off. It's yeah. Going along and then, you would, and then it would be a huge difference. And there's a, a lot of things that have happened since then, but it, yeah. that's the main focus of it. It was about 450 million years ago, that's where it was formed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there are some challenging trails. There are also many waterfalls that you can visit that are not so far from the road and an easy hike. It is so great to have Jamie lead us to these waterfalls because honestly, I wouldn't know much about Tiffany Falls, right? I see the waterfalls and they look beautiful but learning much more about the UNESCO World Biosphere that is the Niagara Escarpment where you see waterfalls like this carving out limestone rocks, walking along trails that have been creating through the process of erosion but yeah I've just been learning a lot of different things and he even knows when he hears a certain bird calls that it's like a blue jay which is pretty cool because I I want to know that. I am always astounded by all the knowledge of the local guides that I meet when I'm on the road. But I'm really enjoying this tour so far because I love waterfalls and I'm glad I get to experience it with my mother as well. Oh, this is awesome. Visit Hamilton, Halton, Brandt. They gave me this bag as well as another welcome basket when I got here. And it has binoculars so I cannot strain my eyes and see the birds and different things as we explore some of the waterfalls here. But right now we're just arriving to Albion Falls and it's located really close off the road and right near a bunch of trails over there. I was really starting to see why they called Hamilton the waterfall capital of the world. Around every corner there were waterfalls along the Niagara Escarpment, even behind housing developments as well. Finally, we wrapped up our waterfall tour and headed along the upper escarpment where we could see all of Hamilton below us. So actually, we're here in Hamilton still, but we're on the top of the escarpment, which is now I'm seeing what it is. It's just this long, basically higher elevated piece of land that overlooks the city of Hamilton below. You can see the lake over here and Toronto's way off in the distance, which is pretty cool. But basically, yeah, we're on the top of the Niagara Escarpment. Whoa, I see some Canadian geese. And yeah, it's just really cool to see the different lakes. 
layers of the city of Hamilton. But for now, I'm gonna go because we got lunch appointments. All right, guys, I'm here on King William Street, which is Restaurant Row here in Hamilton. We just had an amazing waterfall tour where we were walking all around, so it's time to get some food because I'm hungry. Hamburger, I've been told, is an awesome place for hamburgers, poutine, and a very amazing array of shakes. Not only that, I'm meeting with some people in the Hamilton tourism team, and I'm really excited to see what this chef has to offer because he's actually locally from Hamilton. So let's go inside and check it out. This place was awesome. They had unique twists on dishes such as poutine and mac and cheese, like these mac and cheese fried balls. They were so gooey and amazing. And not only that, they're known for their milkshakes and their hamburgers. So of course, we had to get two of each. After a heavy lunch, we headed off to go to Dundurn Castle, which is a National Historic Site. It was home to Sir Alan McNabb, who is the Premier of the United Canada's from 1854 to 1856. Welcome to Dundurn Castle. We are here in Hamilton, and this is one of the sites you must see while you're here, because this is the site of the first Prime Minister of Canada's home. It is pretty awesome, if you ask me. It's beautiful and makes me feel like I have been transported back in time. But let's go get transported back in time because they offer tours and we're about to go on one. Dundurn Castle is actually open from 12 p.m. to 4. Be sure to call ahead because they do have guided tours. The guides are really cool. Like our guide had 12 years of experience working here. So she knew everything about the castle. Such as Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall is the museum's patron and the great 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 granddaughter of Sir Alan McNabb. The guided tour takes you through 40 rooms of Italianate style villa built in the 1830s on the Burlington Heights, the former site of a fortified military encampment established by the British during the War of 1812. I was honestly super surprised that there were two castles within reach of Toronto. From Castle Loma to this, it was definitely up my alley in terms of history. After exploring the servants' quarters as well as the tunnel of the British encampment, we ended up getting to try something that was cooked in the kitchen of Dundurn Castle. Kitchen. Uh, there is some to go, so this is the oh, regular you. recipe. You can just take whichever one applies to you. Now, oh, these have been made today. Uh, I don't think the musty attraction we visited was the Royal Botanical Gardens, which are the largest botanical gardens in all of Canada and a national historical site. Party. So this, yeah, so this was all like reconstructed about five years ago. They closed it for a few years and then they revamped it all. Nice. Wow, I did not know I was gonna experience part of Canada winter, but I have, and I have my Tim Hortons in hand. I came to the Royal Botanical Gardens, which are located in Hamilton, and it's really pretty, usually, Flowers are blooming, weddings and events are happening. It's the perfect place to come if you want to relax, enjoy a cup of coffee and a stroll. There's also a bistro here as well. While I'm here at a cooler time, I know that this place looks beautiful and I'll like show you some photos of it and do an overlay so you can see what this beautiful place looks like in the spring and in the summer. I bet this place is a beaut. But for now, I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna head off on to our next destination. Hamilton is known for its industrial heritage. However, they've been updating the waterfront and taking the industrial side and bringing art and art murals to it as well. After getting to see that firsthand, we headed to Merritt Brewing where we ate a light dinner. Here you will find amazing craft beers. While I didn't try the craft beer and got the kombucha, which was also from a local business, I had the sausages, which were amazing. After a long day exploring, it was time to call it a night. After checking out the Hamilton sign, it was time for me to head back to the hotel. I'm back at the Homewood Suites. Tourism Hamilton has been so awesome showing me around. And not only that, they got me some goodies. I learned so much. It was really nice to go around with locals here that work with the Tourism Bureau. I found out things like Tim Hortons actually is from Hamilton. This is where they had the original store and where Tim Hortons began. And Tim Hortons is a Canadian institution and so is Hamilton. So I'm really glad that I was able to come here and explore everything from its waterfalls to its amazing food. Tomorrow we have some more adventures planned and then I'm off back to Florida. The team here has been wonderful and I've had such an amazing time exploring the city. 
Good morning. I'm here at the Homewood Suites and we are just about to head off for another day of exploring the Hamilton region with Bev, which we met yesterday. But yeah, I'm really excited. This is my last full day in Canada, but it won't be my last day coming to Canada because I definitely want to plan to come for future trips because I really love Canada and miss visiting the last few years. But now I'm going to head on off because I don't want to be late. I just had an amazing breakfast and now it's time to go explore. We hit the ground running further into the heart of Ontario. Welcome to Crawford Lakes. I'm here at the Crawford Lakes Conservation Area and it's so nice out today and sunny as you can see. The weather in Canada changes quite frequently but we're here to tour some long houses and just take a walk around the lakes because it's a beautiful day and as you can see there's a visitor center right here. There's some Crawford Lake trails you can check out the map and then go on your way to explore, but it's definitely a nice view. I'm excited to go check out these longhouses. I don't think I've ever been to one before. So we're here in an actual longhouse in Crawford Lakes and this is definitely interesting. It's cold, but you can see they would be able to have three fires here. And it looks like they'd dry out these skins. Yeah, the, pelts. the pelts, okay. It was cool to see the historic snowshoes as well as learn that lacrosse was actually started by the First Nation people. Okay, so we just toured the first longhouse and inside you could see everything from the skins of the different animals that they use as well as how tall and massive these structures are. On the outside you can see it's actually bark which must have been tougher and more durable and protect them from the winters in Canada. But it's definitely a cool experience to be able to go inside a full life reconstructed one. There were actually 11 longhouses in Crawford Lakes in this area and there was a settlement of about 250 to 350 people. But yes, Bev is taking us around and so far learning a lot about the area. I did not realize that this is so close to not only Hamilton but also Toronto. A short hike from the visitor center was Crawford Lakes, known for being as deep as it is wide. There's also a boardwalk that goes around the lake that you can hike around, which makes for a nice walk. After that, we headed on out to Burlington after an amazing day exploring the Niagara Escarpment. Alright guys, I'm here by Lake Ontario in Burlington, which isn't far. Basically, we're along Lakeshore Drive, which stretches all the way from Burlington to Toronto. And I just saw this beautiful The Pearl Hotel and Condos, which is actually an autograph collection hotel. So like you could stay here and you could bike all the way to Toronto or take Lakeshore Drive there. And of course, have a beautiful view of Lake Ontario which is beautiful, man. Today we have amazing weather. There's even a pier and bridge, good views. We're about to go grab some coffee and go inside the Pearl and then have lunch at the Port House. But for now, let's go check out the inside. The Pearl had an amazing restaurant called Isabella, but I went in to check out the bread bar, which has awesome coffee, pastries, and pizza but we were actually headed across the street to the Waterfront Hotel at the Port House for lunch. I got the miso salmon, which was great, but I really enjoyed the views and the awesome company of locals. Now we are just heading through Burlington, which is another town located along Lake Ontario, and I'm being guided by the Tourism Bureau here. And yeah, just gonna see what the town center has to offer. All right, everybody, I'm here in Village Square in Burlington. Here you'll find many restaurants, eateries, places for brunch, as well as shops. It's located right by the waterfront in Lake Ontario. 
and Burlington is just definitely an upscale area where you can come and find some beautiful spots from the Pearl to the Port House where we just had an amazing lunch. Definitely an area to come check out. I really enjoyed my salmon with this miso sauce, which is amazing. But for now, we're gonna continue to explore with the tourism board here, and I'm really excited. Check this out. We have an old looking, like looks like a slice of Europe here. So right now we just stopped into Lola's coffee shop. And it's so nice, they have drinking chocolate, they have everything. So I'm gonna try some drinking chocolate with coconut milk, so it's on dairy and espresso because I love coffee. But the village square is so nice as you can see. Check this out. But yeah, the owner here is really nice. She's a woman owned business, local and I really love it so far. It's so cute in here, check this out. After the best drinking chocolate ever, we headed to the Brand Street Pier, which is iconic to Burlington, right on Lake Ontario. You have some of the best views, and we had some of the best weather of my trip so far. Just about finished visiting Burlington, but it's so beautiful. We're here out on the pier on a sunny day. You can see the new The Pearl Hotel, the waterfront hotel where we ate as well as the port house. And yeah, it's just a good place to come. You can literally ride your bike all the way from here to Toronto as well. And we're only about 20 minute drive from Hamilton. So heading back now and then heading to stay close to the airport for an early morning flight with Swoop. But it's been an amazing experience here so far, learning all about the tourism in the region as well. Sadly, it was time to say goodbye to Hamilton and I headed to the GO Transit bus station where we took the bus to get to Toronto Airport so we could wake up bright and early the following day. So after taking the GO Transit from Hamilton to Pearson Airport, I took the shuttle with Embassy Suites to come to the Embassy Suites at the airport. It was awesome. We came in time for their complimentary snack and beverage hour. And yeah, this is the room, I love it. The light decor really just puts a smile on my face right when I walk in. There's a coffee maker as well as a little kitchenette. You have microwave, the fridge is inside here. Then we have the bathroom. Hello. And I like the marble touches. You have that even right when you walk out of the elevator. It's really nice. And then we have the two beds. The big TV, a little seating area, and desk. This is definitely a nice room. I was very happy. I didn't know. I just booked the thing I saw on Hilton. And it paid off because I have a nice couch area to hang out, desk. And downstairs is a nice little restaurant. They have the shuttle so we don't have to worry about taxis or anything. So I'm excited. This is our last night in Toronto and in Canada. And then we're heading back tomorrow. We're back flying with Swoop to go Orlando Sanford International Airport. I'm really excited. This has been an amazing trip, short but sweet. And I definitely cannot wait to come back to Canada because I do love it so much here. But for now, I'm going to relax and chill in my nice room. After an absurdly early morning, we made it to the airport and checked in at Toronto Pearson to go back home. All right, so just boarded. Now we're finally out with Swoop to head to Orlando. It's been a great time in Toronto and Hamilton, but now we're trying to go back home. Yep, just a little, little bit of a rainy takeoff, but I'm excited to get back home. I have an amazing time here in Canada. It was a short but sweet journey. A short two and a half hours later with Swoop and we were back home at Orlando Sanford International Airport. If you enjoyed this series then please hit subscribe and the notification bell so you're made aware for the next adventure. Also let me know in the comments if you have any questions about traveling to Canada and this part of Ontario.